We're playing 100 Days, of course, it's the third uh, in the media trilogy Empire, starting with 80 Days. Second one, The Empire Strikes Back, just kidding, it's 90 Day Fiance. Third one, 100 Days. Um, and then, of course, the, the, we're all looking forward to the fourth one by Seth MacFarlane, uh, A Million Ways to Die in the West. This is, I'm joking, I'm being facetious, this is a, uh, a winemaking tycoon slash simulator game um, where we, we gotta make our own winery. And I gotta tell you, I've been, I've been taking a lot of walks. This is literally just the Puma logo. I've been taking a lot of walks, and the, uh, the geese in Canada have had their, their babies. And their babies are all like, they, instead of having feathers, they have like fluff and stuff like that. And they'll be walking around like one parent and then like 17 babies and they're just like eating cigarette butts off the ground is awesome, man. So I'm thinking we should be like, we could be like a goose here. There you go. And then we'll call our island Gosling Estates. How about that? And then the background is a police officer's <laughs> The background is, um, hmm, hamburger. But then we got, I, I would like to invert this. If you could give me logo in white. No, that looks like truly horrendous. That, that looks horrible. I mean, I gotta be honest, just the square or the rectangle, the triangle, it's a little avant-garde, huh? The triangle's kind of interesting. Circle's a little too basic. Dude, I don't know. I kind of like the triangle. I like that it's asymmetrical. I think because it, it's complicated. Much like, uh, much like we want our wines to be. You know what we'll call it? We'll call it the escaping goose. Escaping goose. Goose, goose is, you know what we're going to call it? Gosling Estates. Confirm. <laughs> it's perfect. All right, put me, in, put me in story mode. Yeah, we went 3D. As you know, I have an eye uh, for aesthetics. No, oh, okay. The cards represent the activities we should do. You can drag and drop them on the board. So we can check inbox at Elon's Boring Company. Um, the board represents the daytime. Each activity occupies a specific space, but you can rotate the cards to optimize the work. When you are fine with your placement and ready to move on, click the button in the right corner to move to the next day. All right, I... No, 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 come on. Ro how do you rotate tiles? Right click. I would like to have a chance to fit these both in here. I don't know, I, I don't think it's possible. Am I, am I crazy? Now that I know that there's a Tetris aspect, I'm like, I... I don't know if it's possible. I don't think it can be done. Can is it possible to T-spin it in there? I don't think so. Next. Not possible. Prepare. Oh, I see. So right now it's story mode and we're working at like a, a, a job we don't like and things don't fit, man. Things don't freaking fit. And that's why we got to start our own winemaking business with a, uh, a $1 million loan from our father. If you'll excuse me, we'll just go collate and then go to the office mail room. Uh, and every every single day is exactly the same. This is from John Madden Jr. I doubt. Oh, okay. I doubt you remember me. My name is Beppe, and I am an enologist. Winemaking has ruled. My name is Beppe. Beppe laugh. Until I have reached the end of my journey. Still chasing the perfect wine. There is a long list of winemakers who would be happy to inherit my lands. But this time, I will rebel against what is logical or due. While we need to treasure our tradition, we also need to make room for innovative solutions. Newcomers to fill our ranks. New what? I want you to run my business and become a winemaker. It's not going to be easy, but I promise you... It will be worth it. Your vineyards await. Uh, Be Be Beppe G, Beppe G, please. Uh huh, uh huh. I got all that. Uh huh, Beppo G. Hundred days. Is it? Is there a significance to the title? Like, is a hundred days the the amount of time it takes for grapes to grow, or something like that? Hi, my name is Anna, and I am your next door neighbor. 
Lady Dimitrescu? This game's got a Lady Dimitrescu too? Hi, nice to me. It's great to finally meet you and put a face to a name. I've heard so much about you from the old man. Oh, have you? Yes. I will tell you everything about it, no worries, but all in due time. I just thought it would be nice to introduce myself and greet you, so here I am. Oh yes, very kind of you. Oh, you must be exhausted. How was your journey? I am a bit tired. The flight was delayed and kind of packed, you know? This is like one of those advertisements where, you know, you see like two people hanging out and they have to put in big letters on the bottom of the screen like, Was filmed prior to COVID-19, we promise! About that, how do I run this place? The letter wasn't particularly clear on the matter. Hey, that's a big question, but you are in luck. The old man has left some instructions for you to follow. Old man Beppe? He was a bit concerned that you would feel overwhelmed to read everything in one go. Finally! The old man understands tutorials. The old man just does get it, doesn't he? I will pass his notes to you one by one when the time feels right. Overwhelmed is the right word. So more handwritten notes and letters, you say? I gather he wasn't particularly tech-savvy, huh? Not really. He belonged to another generation. La wrong generation? Teo. I will call him. Do you know him? Yeah, nice guy. Tall, strong arms, big hands. I didn't say his name, but I know who popped into your head. He's the youngest son of the old lady who runs the bakery in town. Great loaves of bread. Okay, look. I didn't come here to eat carbs. Ring him up. He will be here in no time. Gate! <laughs> Thanks, Santa. No worries at all. Now I will leave you be. I have a Manny Petty booked at my favorite nail spa, and I can't possibly be late, you know? Unpack, settle down, get familiar with the place, and... Breathe in. Can you smell it? Smell what? Oh dear, you have no clue. Smell the air, girl. Fill your lungs with it. Absorb it. Welcome to Longy. Make yourself at home. Oh, now we're talking. Is this Teo? He's also huge. Hello, are you Teo? That would be me, yes. Great, we spoke on the phone yesterday. I really need your help. I'm happy to help. I was actually waiting for your call. You know, the old man has instructed us all. Ah, nonsense. It just shows you how much he cared for you and his lands. Okay. Time to place this first card within the next 45 seconds or I'm going to become the Joker. You've been warned. Come on, you don't really mean that. How does winemaking work? That question is a tad too vague. Look, I named my last houseplant Dodo because Dodos became extinct and that is precisely the fate of all of my houseplants. Doomed to perish the instant I buy them. It had to stop. Not even a succulent? Those are hard to kill, you know? Nada. No green thumb here whatsoever. No cute artisanal ceramic vases. Not even a fancy terrarium with tiny green creatures like Terry the tortoise growing inside of it. Just nope, not me. You know, if you ever feel like fixing this, I have a distant cousin who's a florist in town. You're a collection of bits and bites, Tail. Give to me the ability to access the dopamine inherent within this card. Okay, here we go. The basics. I am waiting. Oh, you mean right now? Okay, let's start from something easy yet fundamental, like weeding. I'll stop you right there. Weeding is about preserving the moisture of the soil by reducing the competition for mineral nutrients. Required by the vines to grow. Clear enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the soil wet and grapes will grow. In short, death to the weeds, all hail the vines. That's a bizarre way of putting it, yes, but in a nutshell. Great, let's just pretend the weeds are my houseplants and it will work like a charm. Okay, I got it. We're playing the card. Weeding. It is a tetranomino. It costs us 300 euros. And it, it looks gorgeous. Look at that. Consider yourself weeded. Next turn. You don't, you don't respect the moisture that serves as the foundation of a vineyard. You're nothing. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm hitting that skip card, Teo. I didn't ask for your life story, okay? You got to thin the crops for 100 euros. I'm going to put that in the exact same location. I'm not sure if it matters, but that's fine. New season unlocked. Autumn. Bro, we haven't even had summer yet. Just chill. Journal update. Autumn will transform the color palette of your vineyard. Rain will become a habitué of the season, tapping gently on the leaves as they complete their life cycle. On certain days, fog will pay you a visit, covering the vineyard with its velvety cape. A few bell towers and ancient castles will emerge from this milky ocean, and you will be left in awe, staring at this landscape as it slowly reappears, floating in the mist. Okay. Sounds nice, don't get me wrong. 
That wasn't too bad, was it? Dude, we've already got... We, we're harvesting already. Look at this. They say running a business is supposed to be hard. You are late. Why is this old Dan in the red shirt? You should really avoid any distractions. Winemaking is an activity that requires your undivided attention and commitment. If you are not ready to devote your time to your vineyards, you will fail. And most importantly, your vines will perish. And I cannot tolerate that. Whoa, bad day, huh? I am merely stating the facts. So why am I here? Teo told me to hire you. We have started harvesting, but we need your help to complete the task. I hear you have recently moved here from London. With no understanding nor interest in the winemaking business, you basically know nothing about this, don't you? Harsh much? Harsh? Um. So true, bestie. Wow. I I don't even I don't know. What do they say in Gen Z? Your vineyard. I'm afraid your vineyard is sus. No cap. My math teacher in high school was nicer than you, and that's an achievement. Yet again, I am merely stating the facts. Am I wrong? Mr. Sunshine, I have no time for your patronizing nonsense. Are you here to help me or not? My name is Gianni. I promised the old man I'd help you with the first harvest and I always keep my word. I can see you have made a start at it, which is fascinating to me since you have no idea about what you are doing. Now hurry up. I'd like to be done with this before the season is over. They, yeah, he yada 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 me. Yada yada yada. Just cut the crap and help me out. How about that? Whatever. So, harvest, as you may have guessed, is the process by which wine grapes are picked. You can do this by hand or mechanically. It's going to take a while. You don't say, yet another pioneering discovery by Miss I Know Nothing from London. How about you leave the quips to me and just pass me some cards? I just, I just want to pass some cards. Why is it why, it's so combative, this interaction we're having right off the bat here? Yes, it's a long and tiring process, and yes, you have to endure this every year. It's also my favorite bit and the most rewarding as an analogist. Please don't spoil it with your amateurish banalities. What's wrong with you? I can't even. Let's go. You are slow as a sloth. Keep moving, or we will never get to the cellar. I'm going to put you in the cellar, Senator Trent. In the blood cellar. Just your future as a winemaker. No rush at all. Okay. Next, just all that to click the next turn button. Understood. That's br Bricko. Bricko means one day to harvest, obviously. You just keep clicking the button. Season end. Autumn. Bricko! Exclamation. We've got 2021 Barbara Streisand. Almost uh, 7,200 pounds. Quality good. Congratulations. We did it. We will vinify the grapes in a fiberglass tank that can only hold... Uh, well, 3,300 gallons. Okay, that's we're only making 700 gallons. We're selling the 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 wine for a dollar a kilo. Okay, so far so good. Crushing, hashtag crushing it. Unbelievable! You survived your first harvest. I appreciate the sarcasm. Sorry, that was euros, not dollars. My mistake. My mistake. Isn't what what's the conversion rate from euros to dollars? Isn't it like 1.01 or something? Okay. Yes, yes. Um, you and your generation, always putting us down and doubting our abilities. We are resilient. Get over it. So what's next? You don't speak for me, Anna. You don't speak for me? I'm just going to place the card. 1.2 to 1. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Let's, let's place our crushers down and hit next turn. It's winter time, baby. Tail? Yes? I've been reading some books about winemaking. The old man has left me tons, filled with notes, weird diagrams, and old photos. That's good. Yeah, but I still can't wrap my head around a few things. Like this pruning thing. How do I do that? Oh, well, you gotta just simply just place the card on the... You, you gotta wait till the summertime, and then you simply place the card there. Plus, our field is not large enough to fit this. How so? Well, first of all, we prune the vines in winter. And let's just say you need far more than just a few books to understand how to do that. But don't worry, I can help you for a, for a price. 2022, baby. Doesn't doesn't fit, Teo. Doesn't fit. Hmm. I will place my fermenter down. Oh, hello again, London. Bro, we've been working together for like like seven months at this point. It totally did fit. Mm, debate. Okay, hold on. Indeed, I hope you are ready, because today we will cover one of the most complex parts of the winemaking process. I have dusted off my old notebooks for this occasion. I also have a whole bag of sunflower seeds to chew on whenever I feel overwhelmed by your incompetence. 
I am rubber, you are glue. Anyway, I am ready. Open your spell book and let's summon some wine. You remember when games used to just have like a manual? Um, and you would read it and it would tell you how to play? Anyway. Um, do you remember what we... Uh, look, I'm... Let's relax. Let, let's move on. Do you remember what we said about crushing? Be gentle, burst the skin, release the sugary juice, expose them to the yeast. I'm impressed. Well, fermentation is the next step. Yeast will now convert grape sugars into alcohol. So you're telling me this is the Big Bang moment? Wine Universe Edition? This is when the magic happens, right? It's not how my professors at the Enological School of Alba would have put it, but I have to admit I fancy your vision, even if it is a tad picturesque. Sugar meets yeast, and then BAM! Here's the wine. Uh, Emeril Lagasse. Name that chef. Not so fast, London. Not so fast. Fermentation will affect the body, sweetness, tannin, and acidity of your wine. Depending on the grape variety, there are different optimal values for each of these characteristics. Don't interrupt me. As I was saying, sweetness and tannin are influenced by the duration of fermentation. Everything clear so far? Let's say you're fermenting Barbera, okay? He's... She said, let me write this down. Peepo G, Peepo G, please. In this case, your optimal values would be tannin, 2 out of 10, and sweetness, 2 out of 10. Now, feel free to give it a go. Yada, 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 yada. You should really, uh, yada, 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 yada. Okay. So we, we try to get 2 out of 10 sweetness and 2 out of 10 tannin. I, uh, the only thing I have to say, hold on, fermentation, I'm just look, at, I'm, I'm given an opportunity, then you got to press it, then you, you add malolactic yeast, then you age it, spare a fry please, and then you bottle it, okay, fair enough, dude, the game does look gorgeous, there's, there's absolutely no doubt about that, um, so it is a 2 out of 10 tannin, I guess my only question, and perhaps there was no room for this in the dialogue, but do, does this visual indicator indicate that the fermentation is taking the grapes from 5 out of 10 down to 2? And then this would take it from 5 down to 1? Okay, yeah. And then we will pump over or punch down. No tannin will be extracted. Many tannins will be extracted. No, we will do nothing to it. Expected turns duration to confirm. Uh, am I crazy, dude? People were telling me this fits. It doesn't fit. It's four tiles, man. We got a freaking three by three. Don't even start with me, man. It's three? What are you talking about? It's three. It's four. One, two, three, four. It says on the freaking card. Don't make... You need to buy the technology for the board upgrade from the tech tree on the right. Okay. Hmm. Assuming they're going to tell me about this as we, uh, as we get going a little bit. They tell me about everything else. Okay. Next, next turn. Next turn. It takes two days to ferment. And then you bust out the old wine press. You look tired. Bro, just actually just shut up. I'm not tired. I am fermented. So true, bestie. Is this your first attempt at a wineish pun? Blimey, you are taking this seriously. The soon okay, yep. Pressing is the process by which the juice is extracted from the grapes. Pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? That's it? Obviously not. Increase the press intensity and you'll get more wine. Decrease the press intensity and your wine will be better quality. Remember, the press intensity will also affect body and tannin. Body value optimal for this grape is 8 out of 10, and tannin is 2. Okay. I know your generation is not particularly keen on reading. Did, did you know that? Because it seems like the tutorial was designed in a way that kind of runs counter to that principle. Um, okay. Uh, so we want tannin to be a 2 out of 10 still, but we want body to get up to 8 if possible. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Let, let's make body uh, 2 out of 10. And then we'll keep tannin at the optimal level. 2 out of tannin. 10 out of tannin. This, this seems acceptable to me. Okay, next. 
father, I cannot click on this phone. Hmm. Oh, look, it's raining. Yeah, no biggie. I've lived in London long enough. Oh, really? Rain is an integral part of my everyday life. Well, in our case, it makes a huge difference. We have to stop. We can't work in the vineyards when it rains. Really? That bad? I am afraid so. I see. In that case, I'll put the kettle on. Do you fancy a cuppa? A cup of tea? Sounds very exotic, thanks. But a double espresso would do. Here you are. Here I am. You look tense. I am. Today we will start bottling the wine. This is the final stage. Once the bottles are sealed, there's nothing more we can do. It's out of our control. Okay. Let's inspect the bottles and hope for the best. You, you place the bottles down. Turn amount is variable. Create a new image for your bottle. Okay, here we go. Create. The, the closure on top of the bottle... I mean, I gotta be honest, it's the first wine I've ever made in my entire life. I think you gotta accept that you probably wanna go with the screw cap. This 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 is a wine for somebody that might be uh, putting some more in the refrigerator for later. The shape of the wine bottle. Um, you know, I, don't, I, I gotta be honest, I don't really like this right now. It looks more like an olive oil bottle. None of the you know, I'm going to I'm going to roll with it, okay? Light, dark, green. Um the wine tastes better out of a dark bottle. Everybody knows that. So we're going to we're going to give it a uh, a dark bottle. Um that's a given. It tastes the worst out of the green bottle. Don't even get me started. Unle unless you're Eden at like an Italian restaurant in New York City in 1973, do not give me green bottle wine. I think we will roll with, let's go with a long label. This looks somewhat modern to me. And then, you know, I got to be honest, the, the goose looks fine. I got, I got no complaints about that. This is our flagship uh, Bordeaux. And then name your wine. Max character 16. This is Honk Alley. First pressing. Costs us 2,000 euros. <laughs> you know what? You're right. Goose juice. I get to... Uh, ju goose juice? Everyone's gonna laugh and go, ha, 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 ha. I'd never drink that. You guys would have said the same thing about White Claw. Two years later, everyone's like, I, there ain't no laws when you're drinking claws. I could see goose juice popping off. Number of bottles? One. <laughs> it's called it's called artificially limiting supply, sweetheart. You wouldn't understand. Okay, send it. It's called an NFT. Non-fungible tannin. Hey girl, long time no see. How you doing? Hi Anna, I've been buried in work. Apologies for ghosting you the other day. Gianni hates me when I'm late. Oh, so that's why you ran away so quickly. I thought you were avoiding me. Me avoiding you? Nah, it's on fleek. Phew, but tell me, how are you two getting along? Gianni is all about the wine. He doesn't mingle with us in town. He's so difficult to read. Spill the tea, sis. I'm afraid I don't have much to offer. The only thing I know is that whenever he feels particularly stressed, he chews on a ton of sunflower seeds and leaves a trail of shells behind. Dude, this is... I, I, I hope I'm not right. Um, But this feels like a moment where everyone's going to like hate Gianni, and then he's going to be like... My wife is sick, and we're gonna be like, "Oh, we uh, we shouldn't have rushed so quickly to judgment, or something like that." And then it's gonna then it's gonna do a late credits drop or something. Ew, <laughs> sorry, but did I did I stutter? Right. Anyway, we've just finished bottling our first wine. He seemed particularly concerned about this last phase. Let's hope everything goes smoothly. That's great. Your very first bottle. You have to tell Satoshi, the inventor of of Bitcoin. Don't you know him? Girl, have you ever left the house? You should really go out sometime, you know? Gianni says I have to focus and avoid any distractions. Gianni says this, Gianni says that. I don't even know him and he's already getting on my nerves. Tell me about it. Forget Gianni, listen to me. Satoshi is the owner of the wine bar in town. He's such a nice guy. Go there, tell him I've sent you and bring a bottle of your wine. He will want to taste it. 
I don't want to impose. Impose? Snap out of this imperial coldness, girl. Stop behaving like a guest. This is your land. These are your traditions. Own it! It's ironic, you know. As an expat, I really felt like a guest. I felt like I was inhabiting a space that wasn't mine. Now that I'm home, I still feel and behave as a stranger. I am stuck in a limbo. Don't get philosophical on me, girl. It scares me. Take a deep breath and enjoy your evening out at Satoshi's Wine Bar. Can you do this for me, pretty please? Sure, sure. Thank you, Anna. See you later, bestie. Uh, well, if you'll excuse me, though, it's spring. I hate that I didn't capitalize the J in juice, but um, you know what? We, we can do both a pruning for next year and a wine tasting at Satoshi's Wine Bar. How about that? Goose Juice 2021. Rating 70 out of 100. The wine needs more body. Yes, I know that. But I didn't have any control over that with my... All I have is a copper tub in my basement. This isn't so bad, though. Oh, Dan, thank you for the raid. Thank you. We're making, uh, we're making goose juice right now. 70 out of 100 with your first wine seems pretty good. I think you would like this, Dan. Like, for example, they just gave us a 7 out of 10 typicity. Speak in your language. Must. What does that mean? Is th isn't that like the smell of dust? That's our vineyard. Dude, this is kind of intense. Exposure is northeast. Altitude is 1362 Famsel. Whatever that means. 50% sloping. Sand, clay, and loam. There's a medium number of buds. It's like Malf's birthday party. Sales. How are we doing on sales? Bottles produced. Bottles sold. Zero. I think we can double those numbers. It is is well liked though. Next uh, next day, please. Feet above mean sea, sea level. Hi, welcome to my wine bar. Do you have a reservation? Hi, not really. Sorry, it was a last minute thing. My neighbor Anna told me to. Oh, so it's you. It's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard so much about your first steps in the winemaking business and even your very first wine. Anna has filled me in on your adventures. She really is the unofficial news broadcaster in town, isn't she? Tune in to Radio Anna and learn about what's new in the area. Well, she is, but she has a big heart. She only broadcasts positive things about people she cares about. But listen, why don't you sit at that table over there and tell me about your first wine? I'll be there in just a sec. Sure, thank you. Meow. Nice to meet you too, furry creature. You can't see it? It's like she's talking to me, but there's a little cat in the bottom left corner. <laughs> Meow. Meow. You are so cute. Can I pet you? Is that okay with you? Meow. Purr, 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 purr. Looks like you've met Barrick, and judging from the rhythmic purring sound I hear, I'd say that he likes you. The feeling is mutual. I also like your wine bar. It's so co it's so cozy. Thank you. I am glad you like it. So let's talk about your first wine. Do we have to do that? I'm not sure it's any good. I mean, it did get a 70 from Wine Spectator, but... So? Hmm. Come on, your silence is killing me. Is it dreadful? Oh gosh, Gianni will be furious. I must have screwed something up. Some so must have screwed up something. Maybe the fermentation process or the pressing? I must have pressed too much. Is the cork okay? Look, I know you've been studying hard, but how do I say this? The wine is actually good. Deep color, full body, low tannins, well done. No, this is good, especially because it's your first wine. Here, this is the menu. Order what you want. It's on the house. Celebrate. Really? You're too kind. Thank you. And yes, Anna was right. I'm feeling so much better. Stay as long as you like. And immediately I was out. Okay, we got an order. An orders queue from me. They want two bottles. Bro, okay, look. I'm not mad, all right? But you're ordering two bottles and you're getting a seven cent discount. I don't know what you call the things after the decimal points in, in euros. Are those your Ritos? I don't know. But you don't get a discount when you order two bottles. It doesn't make any sense. Is there a way that I can adjust my, my price? Okay, I have no choice. Fine. Thanks for ordering in bulk. I really appreciate it. I will sell you my, uh, my two bottles at a steep discount. Take me back to the vineyard, please. You have one new order. No, this, I, don't worry, I got it. Unless I'm... 
Special orders, warehouse, charts. How we doing, baby? Um, hey, could be worse. Next day, please. Satoshi, who is she? Is this Ernest Hemingway? That young woman, my dearest Carlo, is Emma. Do you, are you keeping the Rolodex updated? She is working with Gianni and Teo in the very same vineyards that once belonged to the old man. Fascinating. Is she any good? She is a beginner, but I've just tasted her first wine, and believe me, it's kind of good. I might have eavesdropped a few bits of your conversation. And, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, it's good wine. Indulge me and leave me alone. I have to think this through. Meow? I told you. Of course you can stay, Barrick. You have one new order. Goose Juice 2021. 15 bottles? I am happy to give you a discount on 15 bottles, sir. Enjoy that. Best of luck with your restaurant. Um, sells completed. You have earned 29. That's 29 euros. Tw uh, or 29 Ethereum. We have no cards. I will progress to the next day. Sells completed. You have earned 203. You love to see it. Satoshi, what a pleasant surprise. I'm just going to be honest. Now that they have given access to orders, I am we're, we're going all in. I will fulfill both of these orders. Thank you. Hey, drop a bottle. Sells completed. You have earned 921. A new special order has come in. You want to buy a... Wait, you want no special orders. No wine. I can't help you there. <laughs> oh, wait. No, you click on... Okay, you click on this first. All right, now I understand. He's going to give us plus five prestige. He wants 50 bottles with a minimum 30 out of 100. Okay. Sell. There you go. Satoshi, enjoy. That's going to be big earnings. 645. Three new orders have come in. Excuse me. Someone would like to purchase um, 118 bottles of Goose Juice 2021. Do you work at an Earl's? That's amazing. How, how much do we have in the in in reserve here? We got eighteen seventy four. That's a ton, man. I I fulfill all orders absolutely. Moving on. I wonder if you could reject some orders and then save it for a couple of years, and then really sell it at a premium. Dude, this is going pretty well. You have four new orders. That's easy sell. And then, special order. You want to buy... I, I, can't, I can't give you what you want. Oh, because you, you have a requirement for a minimum acidity? What kind of wine bar do you work for, man? I can't, I can't give you that. I wish I could. I could discard you for, for two levels? Oh, he wants white wine. You're absolutely right. I'm, I choose to discard you. Yeah, you want white wine to get discarded. <laughs> I don't know if that's if that's necessary, but I did get to click a button, which was pretty fun. Hello, Emma. I'm Carlo. We spoke on the phone a few days ago. Thank you for your interest in my adventures. I'm just going to be honest. I, I, I blame myself for clicking story mode. We might do a, a restart as a uh, on on uh, endless mode. Okay, I will sell you 255 bottles. I will sell you 45 and 12 bottles, absolutely. Yeah, I think, I think I'll do it now. I think I'll treat this as, like a, as a tutorial, and, and I'll throw a slash marker, 100 days one.